All right, here's the fun part. Everyone loves getting new stuff, and here's a really cool air purifier by Breathe Fresh Air. All right, so this is the unboxing ceremony. Open the box from the very top, okay? We have some customers who have opened it from the bottom, and they email us. They say, where's the uh, plug? Well, the plug's right here at the top. It's in this slot right here, so make sure if you open it from the bottom, you flip it over, and notice that the plug's right here, as well as the remote. So you can use the remote. Um, it's really convenient. Let me show you how to use this unit really quick. It's pretty straightforward. And it, the lovely feature in it is the timer that some other units don't have. So to start it up, just push power. The first feature that you can uh, adjust right here is the fan. So this is just going to simply adjust the fan speed. So it's really low now, going higher. The next thing you can adjust is the purification and this will open up a whole bunch of stages of purification. That first one is starting up the ozone feature in a small way, getting a little bit of ozone going, a little bit of deodorization. And as you go up through those features, the ozone starts kicking up a little higher. So five is the highest setting for the ozone. coming from it is kind of like air after a lightning storm or if when it starts to get in really high concentrations it starts to smell like bleach or chlorine so it's best not to be present while you have the ozone feature on I'm going to show you in a minute how to set the timer so you can turn the timer on and leave it on while you're gone return one to two hours really two hours afterwards and the ozone smell will be gone and the, all the foul odors that you had in your room are going to be scrubbed away. So keep that in mind. It's a process to really do a deep clean. Um, if you're not interested in the ozone feature and you just want to get some other purification, we, you have right now this with the fan on. It's just the carbon filter right there, which is taking away dust and dander and some allergens. The next feature is the Bio UV right here. Bio-UV, it's a PCO sun, you can see it turned on right here. Now that gets rid of um, bacteria, viruses, and whatnot, and it kills them right on site. So if uh, you have a bunch of people with flu virus, you don't have to worry about flu getting around your home. I mean, this is going to help with that out. It's going to kill the viruses and the bacteria, mold, spores, as they come close to it. It's just going to kill it. All right, so. You want to set this uh, feature right for the timer. So let's go ahead and um, push this button here. And we have now have the timer set for two hours. So this is great. We got everything on right now. I've turned on everything. I can just leave for two hours. And uh, remember, after it's off for two hours, come back so you'll have a really, really big deodorization process and things are just going to smell fantastic. Think odors are going to go away. It's going to be great. Anyway, let me show you the um, inside of the unit, the meat and potatoes, how to get inside so you can maintain the unit. Um, to get inside, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, so you just open the top right here. There's just one screw. You don't need an electric one or anything like that. I just happen to be that guy that has one. All right, so here's the um, ozone. That's the ozone plate right here. You need to replace the ozone plate once every eight to 16 months, depending on use, and you do need to maintain it. To maintain it, simply just wash it down with some cold water, just rinse it down. Um, and um, you have to, must, 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 must let the ozone plate completely dry. Let it dry overnight before putting it back in. Even just a trace of moisture on this thing when you put it back in because of all the electrical stuff going on back there creating the ozone, it's gonna short the thing out and you're gonna have some problems. So make sure that's dry. This is the um, UV um, sterilizer right here, also known as the PCO cell. Um, keep in mind you can buy both of these online very readily. Just search UV um, bulb for uh, uh, ozone online, you'll see several vendors selling them. They're not hard to find, especially this ozone plate. 
simply search the term ozone plate, maybe even add the term ceramic, you'll see a number of these. They're all essentially the same. I would go with the one that's the cheapest in the future. All right. Um, last thing too here, if you ever had a power outage or anything like that, um, and not just a power outage, like a severe power outage, like you shorted the unit out somehow, and this rarely, rarely ever happens, but inside here, there's a spare fuse. You get in here and you pull it out, there's the original fuses in place back here, and the spare fuse is in the front. Okay, so if you ever run into a problem, like there's a short out, there's a spare fuse right here that's going to save your butt. Um, it's not loose, so you don't have to go look for it. It's already here. So remember that. That's a very important, nice feature. It's also mentioned here in the instructions. Go over these instructions well. Make sure to use the unit um, properly. When you, when you have that ozone function on, leave the room. We're going to offer lots of uh, bonus features, um, some free information on how to really make this unit extremely effective in the future. Um, so you have amazing results with this unit.